G'day and welcome to my video. My name is Mark. This channel is called Ages No Barrier and I'm all about making videos about my journey as a 58 year old ultra running athlete here in beautiful Mexico. Now I've been living in Mexico now for about 18 months and um, well, maybe I'll give you a little bit of an update on what it's like to live in Mexico. <laughs> well, it's different, of course, everywhere in Mexico. There's the different vibe and there's a different, um, I guess, status of how you live. But uh, I live in the tourist town of Cancun, which has two distinct sides to it. It has the, uh, the hotel zone side where obviously a lot of the tourists come and stay. And um, they don't really move away from that area as well because that's where all the beaches are and... Uh, all the nightlife and shopping and everything else for them to do so they they go and spend all their time over there i live in the regular part of cancun or normal suburbia if you like and um, that's where all the locals live so i live in a very local neighborhood with um, mexican people around i don't get to see too many gringos like me and uh, i'm happy that way because uh, i've had my fair share of expat living over the years and i prefer to uh, to live amongst the local people so everybody in my community here is uh, is pretty much Mexican well they are and um, you know get to see them every day and interact with them which is really really good and yes quite a lot of them speak English so uh, there's an opportunity there because my Spanish is very very limited of course now I've lived in uh, various countries across the world so it's not a brand new experience for me to live in a in a foreign land and I must say that uh, slotting into life here in Mexico has been pretty easy actually because everything that you need to work and function every day is here and uh, it operates very very well and uh, I came here during the COVID time so things were pretty desperate like a lot of countries here. Uh, Mexico had a very relaxed attitude though towards COVID as they do with most things so one was able to get out and uh, put a mask on and basically go and just do whatever you wanted to do in your life. There wasn't too many uh, hiccups as far as that goes but um, it hasn't stopped people from getting COVID of course and uh, just like every other country there's been challenges around that uh, since I've been living here and of course I've been I've got it twice since I've been here as well so uh, that's the way it is but for the most part um, in just terms of going about your day-to-day -day life it's a fantastic place the people are beautifully friendly and uh, you can get everything you want here in Mexico so there's no trouble in being able to go to your local supermarket and shopping center and get all the things that you'd uh, typically want in your life there's no no doubt about it and the great thing about it is it's a lot cheaper than most places in the world so my wife and I were really astounded when we came here um, and settled into Mexican life just how cheaply we could live every month it was really really astronomically cheaper compared to where we'd come from in Canada and uh, had a very very expensive experience in living in Canada for a while so coming here to Mexico um, things are, are really really cheap good quality as well for the things that we want to buy in our life and um, that includes everything but a couple of things are a little bit more difficult to get such as running shoes um, I have a trouble getting the right size for me here in Mexico and as a result of that I have to uh, to buy the more name brand sometimes um, if I can't get the right size for me so running shoes have been one of the challenges for me as far as buying equipment but uh, everything else like running gear running kit um, and all that is is very very well priced here so no issues with any of that now I've got my uh, residence residency status I've got my driver's license and uh, got my tax file number and everything like that so I'm all set up to live life in Mexico and um, that's as I say all pretty much easy one of the things that's very difficult though is opening a bank account and uh, if you're coming here to live you need to just be careful about how you go about opening a bank account process here in Mexico because a lot of the banks are very cautious on foreigners coming here and participating in money laundering processes so they have some very tight regulations and some associated fees around opening a bank account here in Mexico. So do your homework, do your research if you want to come here and live. 
around opening that bank account because obviously it's an important part of being able to look after your money and uh, they do have some special requirements here so that's been the only thing that's been a bit of a challenge for me in terms of setting up my life here but being able to go and get a tax number and all the rest of it that's been uh, pretty easy stuff actually and uh, just getting to know people as well you know lawyers and accountants um, like everybody everywhere else in the world it's easy to find the right people and get yourself sorted out so after 18 months I'd say I'm pretty much set up here in Mexico from a training point of view I've now been through all the different cycles of seasons um, hot and hot and hot <laughs> that's, that's all that happens here in Cancun so I've got used to that with my training but as I said as soon as I get rid of this bout of COVID I'm going to get back into it in my favorite time of the year where it's a bit cooler and uh, I'm going to start building up for some races so as you know if you've been watching my channel I'm aiming to do a 50 kilometer challenge an ultra challenge that I'm setting up myself just right here around this community that I'm um, showing you now there's the road out there so I'm going to run around here and do this uh, this track which is around 300 meters and I'm going to run 50 kilometers around there for my ultra challenge so um, not sure when I'm going to do that yet I want to make sure that I get completely clear of this before I start training you'll see a lot of people on YouTube who have got COVID as runners and they've gone back too fast and they've had a relapse of the COVID again and uh, that's something that I definitely don't want to have so I'm making sure that I take my time until I feel totally clear again and I'm able to run without shortness of breath then I'm not going to get back into my training I'm just going to super look after myself and make sure that when I do start again I'm able to maintain and contain um, my training level so that's the way that I'm going to go about it anyway so there we go there's an update uh, on life as it is at the moment here in beautiful Mexico other than being sick <laughs> everything's going okay so uh, you know rushing towards the end of the year it's been another phenomenally fast year hasn't it lots of things going on the rugby channel is going really really well so if you want to check out a few of my rugby videos I'll put the link uh, in the description of this video to that channel and you can go and check it out and uh, yeah hopefully I'll have lots more to add on this channel as my health starts to get better and better I'm feeling a little bit better today so I'm thinking that maybe I'm going to be about a week away from being able to start running again um, and I'm just going to start off very very slowly but I've also been doing some core exercises and some weights and even those give me shortness of breath so I've stopped doing those as well because as I say it's more important to get fully uh, better again than pushing the body too far and I think too many people make that mistake when they're sick is that they just try and come back too early either from an injury or from a, a medical condition like this and uh, I think you've just got to be really really careful obviously as you get a little bit older as well it pays to uh, listen to the body and uh, not to the ego because the ego wants us out there training all the time doesn't it and uh, and going running and uh, it's telling us oh we'll be right just go for a run you'll feel better but uh, the fact of the matter is that you won't feel better specifically if you've got something in the chest area and as they say anything under the nose if you've got an illness under the nose don't go running it's not good for you but if you've got uh, anything above the nose such as a headache or something then you're probably going to be okay to run but always err on the side of caution that's what I would say okay well that's it for my update I hope you're all doing well out there in your respective training and targets towards your goals there's been lots of ultra races on lately you've been watching a lot of those on YouTube it's uh, a little bit frustrating but it's also quite motivating to see all those wonderful people out there achieving their goals over the ultra marathon distances and uh, I hope to be joining them really really soon so I'll be back again soon in another video until then stay safe stay well everybody and uh, keep running because it could save your life see you again soon bye bye